For the Australian-born painter Sir Sidney Nolan, the Outback has been a continuing inspiration. On a visit there in 1948, he found these drought-stricken carcasses of horses and cattle. He repositioned them and photographed them. Sidney Nolan has also chronicled Australia's history in his famous series of paintings about the folk hero, the bandit Ned Kelly, and about the Burke and Wills expedition across the continent in the 1860s. When he arrived for his first day on the paint box, Nolan decided to combine these images from his past work with some new ones that he brought with him. His experiments needed the more complicated facilities of the paint box, so he was helped by one of its designers, Martin Holbrook, who acted as a kind of studio assistant to the artist. They started the first of two four-hour sessions working on a photograph of a helicopter. Well, it's extremely good, isn't it? I mean, a pilot looking out and seeing that halo around his rotor. It's terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Substantially the same colours. Oh, yes, colors yes, yes, the, yes, all merry completely, yeah. And again, it's gone into a desert kind of... Uh, so I think we can actually be less specific about cutting it out. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, yeah sure. There, of course, is, uh, is, is for the moment, is... Uh, is a kind of chaos, but it's it's hopefully a creative chaos. Well, we're we're starting now to to uh, to, to kind of like a seamstress or something to uh, to, to cut the dress, you, you know, to see where the sleeve will fit or the stitching go on, and actually to make something. I think that'll be much nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so we reverse that, and now we can see the sort of imagery we're making here. Cut him out again. We should now have a giant helicopter. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's the point. Now, we could paint out the, um, the horse's head if we wanted, just to simply take the sky colour. About there, yeah, yeah. And, um, this again. Of course, we can now use the, the joystick to change the size of the helicopter and its angle if you wanted it. Yeah, we can swing her up a bit to the, to the sky. Yeah. Well, there, you, you see, we've got a most unlikely uh, juxtaposition, but which is looking less unlikely. I mean, after a moment, the eye starts to... Uh, not think of that helicopter flying out over the sea, because it isn't anymore. It's in the process of being amalgamated with with this thing out in the Australian desert. Yeah, yeah, because it's got precisely the uh, the astonishment that you would uh, feel if your mother turned <laughs> Because that set up uh, a, 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 a a a kind of a, an observer which is not the artist oh. or a human being or anything else, but is, is in fact... With, within the picture itself? Yeah, within the yeah. picture itself. That so the astonishment actually comes from within yeah, the picture yes, you're yeah, looking at. Yes, it's coming from, uh, from that creature looking at us. And from then on you start to ad-lib, uh, which is what happened with Kafka's insect, wasn't it? That's right, ev yeah. Everybody didn't know what to say, you know, the thing was oh. crawling around and they were saying, oh, yeah. you know, you know, there's Tommy and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do about it? I mean, you have to make peace with it. You have to start to, uh, you, you know, uh, find out how you're going to live with it. The actual thing which is powering that body is that you, you still feel it's there, don't you? Oh, yes, absolutely. You see it, uh... I mean, because, again, you know, if, if we were painting on it, we can always now pick up any of these colours. I mean, if I wanted to make some minute changes and remove that line or different angle there or whatever you can. It's blend things together. It's quite extraordinary. Yes, you see, it's, 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 what you've just done then by joining it up more with an egg is, is actually to make it even more... Uh, part of the... Yes, part of the thing. See, it, it's now actually, pretty well... Actually, that well, so you've now got this angle formed by the... Yeah. The, um, the neck of the... That's pretty well irrevocably so. part of that body, isn't it? Now? Oh, yes. I well, mean, I mean, let's try seeing if we can get that kind of close-up somewhere there. Yeah, yeah. So we go 
for that, and then we can. Uh, oh, it gets interesting, doesn't it? Because it does somehow or other, it brings out the quality of the, of the, of the colouring here. This is really. What happens if, if we get. Uh, if, if we get closer, I mean, if, closer we, still. if, if we magnify more. Oh, if, well, I mean, it, I think the, it would get quite. Yeah, we could look at this. We'll just see what we would just see what we've got get here. From the point of view yeah. of just of an aesthetic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, in, yeah, yes, yes, in there. That, that's that, yeah, yeah. So the foal is now looking no longer at its mother, infinitely changed, but but looking at some intruder or something coming from outer space. It's the, uh, uh, it's the one kind of organism, the one living organism, and, and everything else is outer space. It's mechanical and hard. Kind of technology, and yeah, all that. I mean, it's amazing how sort of aggressive that feels. All the sort of arrangement here. Well, it's all going to knock out possibly mm. this animate creature which is in fact a dead horse you begin to see how you can play with a certain morality with the thing mm -hmm. oh you? yes absolutely you because you uh, uh, which i hadn't thought of before that, that there might be a morality of shapes you know aggressive shapes and, and, and passive shapes and passive shapes which is exactly what we've got there which is what we've got from my point of view as a painter that's very interesting to think that some shapes can, absolutely can have this moral uh, because I suppose one's doing it anyway instinctively all the time, but, but to see it laid out like that is, is, is quite extraordinary. Yeah, that is, that, that's a kind of tragic document of some kind. I think it makes you laugh, but it's tragic. Well, here we have a thing which uh, I invented a kind of sculptor. I always wanted to be a sculptor, and I've invented a sculptor called Brizzoli. He was down there on the raft in Sydney Harbour. And the half of the Sydney Bridge actually comes from seeing the Mad Max film, Mad Max 3, in, uh, where Sydney is shown after a nuclear well, he's attack. Well, a sculptor, and he's got to, you know, cope with what he's going to build in Sydney Harbour and half the Sydney Harbour Bridge which all the cars would fall off. Oh, do we want to find the original horse's head, the, the photographic one? Yeah, maybe. I think we do, Yeah, 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 I think Because they're not yeah, actually yeah. in this lot. Yeah. So, so what I'll do is I have to do a little bit of business. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll I have think to that's read that lot. What we actually want to put on there is, is that horse's head. So you've got different collection pictures here. That's the chap raft, isn't it? Mm, that's one, yeah. <clears throat> that's it. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to turn that into a stencil and ask to see the picture again. Look, just look for the picture. There it is. Ah, if yeah, we now yeah. say you um, call the stencil, there it is. Yeah. So, so now we can decide. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly it, in fact. Isn't that, it? That's it, yeah. So did, what Shall do we, we just do? Sort of sever the head? I think you just put that on the. Do you think? Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, okay. uh, yes, some of the neck. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, sure. so if yeah, I yeah. Um, hit the airbrush then yeah, yeah. and ask to remove yeah. the, um, what, what I can do, look, is, is yeah. sort of that's right, cut yeah. away yeah. the. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's the bit they left off that's the, the bridge. That's, the, that's yeah. the bit we're interested yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. So if we go back to paint. Because this red colour is, is, it's like know, masking film, but you can just etch it away. There we go, so if I reverse that. But that's what we've got left. To go so that's what, yes. Oops, I figured that. Yeah, that's what we want that's on the end of that really, drawing, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, yeah. So let's see what. Some neck. Oh. Yes, I think, yeah, well, I yeah. think we can sort of add that in. Yeah, sure, yeah. So if I now say... Um, so that's about a fit, I would think. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so, so we cut that out. And what I'll now do is I'll actually ask, ask to save that as a, as a cut out bit. Yeah. Yeah, because we want to come back and... So looking now for Sydney Harbour. There we are. There we are, yeah. 
Ah, uh, well, now we're off, actually, because we're off, if, yeah. if we... Um... So we... <clears throat> Oh, I've got this strange black stripe, but never mind about that. Isn't that amazing? So we can shrink him down. Yeah, he needs to come down. It's not going to please the Australians very much, I can tell you. It's going to work. Already, I think you know, that, yeah, that's yeah, beginning yeah. to look quite exciting. <laughs> Do you think we should move the whole thing? No, I that's the way so. you saw it in the first place. No, I, I think because we're down a bit smaller. This or, or that? No, no, yeah. the horse. No, that the horse. I think we need to be smaller. Because what the machine offers you is is the possibility of 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 composing. You know, you can say that's about right. That's that's the right size. Just a bit smaller still, and we're always there. <clears throat> Of course, we, 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 we can tidy up. Yeah, yeah. If we want. But that's basically uh, uh, what you might call a nihilistic statement. Do we, do we like that position? I think, yeah. We do. Yes, about there. That's, I think that's super. That's, it's quite classical. I love that. Yeah, that's, Okay, so what I do is I stick in there. Uh, proves that the Greeks. Proves that. The Australian civilization is in fact essentially Greek. Oops. So. See, and I suppose one of the things I've done throughout most of my career is to is to take what are seeming cliches, like say the Sydney Harbour Bridge or Ned Kelly or whatever it might be. To, uh, to take them and, and to push them into another dimension so that they cease to be clichés or they become even more clichés. Uh, and of course, uh, two of the things in Sydney Harbour which strike everybody are the, the bridge and the Sydney Opera House. Well, that again is, is, uh, is a series of drawings I did on the so-called Brizzoli, the sculptor. We're trying to separate that drawing from the sculptor. We're, we're going to leave him alone. We're trying to turn this thing that he's created into an object as different as possible from himself. Well, what I think we should do is if, if we um, save him, yeah, save him, and so, and, so we can and, come back and and, 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 and we sternise this other. So what I'm going creature. to do is I'm going to go to chalk and ask for. Um, so to speak, if we go around here. As soon as you do that red, it it, it takes it further away from the chap, doesn't it? It's extraordinary, isn't it? Yes, it happened before with the horse. So there we are. There, there, there's our sort of open area again, which we can, uh, yeah, in, yeah, in a different yeah. way. We can, uh, we can put another eye onto that, or yeah, a mouth, so. or uh, flip oh, it absolutely. Oh, so, I mean, if you want something sort of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Skulls, teeth. Oh, Fast. Uh, well, we could 
Because it's kind of Pygmalion situation. The guy is making a statue, which is, is taking is, over. Yeah, yeah, which is taking him over. Yeah. Uh, well, we just kind of stone him up. I think. I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's the mosaic? What does that do? That, if if you take an area of of, of tone, it'll, yeah. it'll, it, it, it'll turn it into um, little blocks of colour. Yeah. I'll show you. I, yeah. I mean, I've actually um, saved all that, haven't I? So yeah. I mean, if, yeah. if I define, you yeah. know, the, the yeah. size of the blocks yeah. of yeah. colour we're going to yeah. use, if if I hit mosaic here, you'll find it turns into the most extraordinary sort of mechanical blocks of colour. Yeah, Quite nice. It's actually quite next nice. To the, next, next to the, to the, to the next to the bloke, that, ne that would next, actually be quite ne nice. Next to what he's looking at. I mean, what we could do now, actually, yes, that's an idea. Why don't we um, colour map him? Yeah. We'll see what happens. Um, God, that gives it so strange. Icon like that really has suddenly become Easter Island, doesn't it? Sure. So next to him, that's going to look very strong. Well, I mean, this, this is using, that's the this is using the machine far yeah. less in a painterly sort of way and much more in a, in a, in a computer yeah, sort of way. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. So if I go, because um, there's the original picture. Yeah, sure. But it needs to be because that's like him a bit. If you want to go paint. It needs to be... You know, we, we, we can actually lose the, um, the original altogether. Yes, the decorative aspects of that, yeah. Extraordinary um, variations of colour in what we think is a sheet of white paper. So we'll remove this. Because he's still full of pathos, but the other one's become... This is going to Frankenstein, be, hasn't this, it? This is going yeah. to take him over, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough to pick a colour. If I, if I take black, so you can just yeah, see, yeah, see where yeah, we are, yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll probably need to kind of purple or something. There we are. So, so, so that's the. Um, oh, that's very smart. That's very chic, isn't it? That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah well, it's, it's, it's light, you see. But the black is very. That, that's, that's yeah, stunning because yeah. the, that's harmonious between him and it. That's super. But nonetheless, that is. It's better than black because it, uh, it, it, this it, is softer. It, it's better than black, yeah, because it's a union. Yeah, well, that's it. Okay. Yep. Well, there. Yeah. At the end of the second session, Nolan decided to try to place some of his own images into a real landscape, a kind of collage of figures and background that represented some lifetime preoccupations. There's 15 pictures. Yeah. So that's about seven, eight side or so. So we have to select the elements. Well, I think we probably have to put this, that one in the centre. Of course, we, we, we could actually use that too. I mean, if, if I wanted to colour that image rather than just keep it black and white. Well, I think, I think we should colour it. I think we should. Yeah. Well, Maybe remember before we were, we were doing things with, with strangely mechanical yeah. means of, of, of colouring yeah, pictures. Yeah. Or one can sort of tint it or... Perhaps we should actually put in stripes. In stripes? Well, that's, that's incredibly easy. Mm. If we, if we ignore the uh, outline we've <coughs> delineated mm -hmm. for the moment, mm -hmm. and, and we'll, we'll pick um, a, a sort of striped way of, of doing mm -hmm. things. If I That's all right, yeah. Like that? That's fine, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that, yeah. But well, don't you? I think it's great. Yeah, yeah, awesome. sure, yeah. What are we going to do with it? It's in the middle of that landscape in right, some okay. way, so is that First it leaves enough, yeah, it leaves enough space on the side for, Oops. for an avenue. Yeah, that's more sort of, it's the area, isn't it? Yeah, I think it all it's rather beautiful, really. 
But in order to get the... Um, we have to come down. The scale, What's I think, you're after this. See, it's going to be getting too small and then we, we kind of lose what it is if we go too far. But we have to go about as far as that, don't we? At least that. Probably uh, Maybe even a, little. a little fraction more. Uh. Image. Now, now I guess we ought to try and find other bits. That you Some want other to... things to fit in. Mm -hmm. Or perhaps that guy on the camel or something. We can okay. Put him up front. Back to the, um, the library then. These are fantastic. Yeah. That fellow there, yeah. Just sort of add. If I use a smallish brush here. Those camels use quite a lot in Australia, aren't they? For... They're important for the Burke and Rules expedition. 1861 or something. Did, are they sort of wild? Or? No, they're not. Wild. No, no. Oh, yes, they're wild now. They really are? Oh, yes. Thousands yeah. of them. That's a roundup somewhere. Well, they just leave them there. <laughs> scream across the desert at night. So, so if we just see our, our two little cutout images now, we have that one and that one. Yeah, and this is a chat for after now. Even if he's out of perspective, I think we might start smaller and build up bigger. You know. Why not? In other words, reverse the perspective. Why not? So we'll just see what that looks like down I mean, in. Do you like him? Oh, down here, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, I think. You might. Because you're actually getting a kind of. A sort of telescopic view sure. of him down there, aren't it's you? Quite nice. and, and, and between him and, and that view up there, there's a, 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 at least a change of length. Yeah. So we'll start filling in on the right hand Super. side, and uh, you might even end up underneath the horse's legs or something. See mm -hmm. the small one. Mm -hmm. you, you might get, yeah. Or you might work the other way. You actually might get bigger. It's hard to say. Well, the whole thing is so eerie already. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. This is, this is, this is, there's that Kelly one. Okay. The actual I, I painted think, Kelly. I, yeah, I think we should. He's magnificent. I think we should get him somewhere. Okay. Right. So should we do the cutting out exercise yeah, again? Yeah. I seem to have missed out a couple of rivets on his shoulders. Right here we go. Mm. <coughs> now we can have him as big as we like. <laughs> he wasn't bad there for the moment, <laughs> certainly. So well, he comes. he's really got to come down. Yep. That's just how far It's hard for me to tell. Um, well, how about if he goes over the left a bit and. Uh, yeah, because we, we, we can move him so simply. Mm, it's a problem, isn't it? Not it, easy. Needs, it needs to be smaller, probably, mm -hmm. I think. Otherwise, there's no room. Just a bit smaller still. Isn't it? Lose things. That's extraordinary. How are you? Oh, all, all these areas, of course, we, 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 we can tie. So, I think we'll leave that there and then we'll. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what that Robert Hughes thing is worth. Yep. You're going to head on the skeleton whether it'll come up to any. Put that over on the right somewhere. There they are. Yeah, there it is. Because I think the reality of that face, amongst the other like painted and photographic images, uh, it just needs some colour into it, yeah. 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 That's it, yeah. And then some red or, or 
whatever. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I mean, that echoes what... what yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. a bit of black or, or uh, black at the top. Yeah, fine. And if we can build that skull up manually a bit. Does it perhaps just a little drawn image? Yeah, that? sure. Um, that red I, I see, yeah, sure, yeah. So to, to do this, is it that, that's all? I see, yeah. What we now have is that, which may or may not work. Well, we'll see. Disgrace. <laughs> well, that, that's the image. So, yeah. I mean, it's a matter of if, if we're, we're interested in position right now, yeah. rather than sort of yeah. colour. Okay. I think if we can have that skull and the figure with a with kind of cloak and, and the do, head. Do, do you not like this sort of, it actually rather messes up the horse, perhaps? I think if we can just have it on top of the horse without. Yeah. Going through the, yeah, okay. the rider, it's better. Right, okay. So that is now behind the horse there. Mm. Is that better? Mm. As long as it's a bit uh, stronger. Imagine if we were to use whatever colour. Black. Dark ground, black. Oh, yeah, sure. That's it. Again, we could do it under here if you wanted. Well, I don't think we... Not too fast about that. Probably need it down there. I think that begins to get it in there. Yeah. Well, that all depends on what happens down on, on the rest of it now. We perhaps need this tree thing with the horse. Yeah. We've got two tree things, have we? Only one. This one? Well, maybe that needs to be somewhere up near the top right. OK. Towards the... Uh, Try... Depends um, on what size, towards the, the end of the horse. And I think we just... To we'll see what happens then we'll improvise. So it has to come down, doesn't it? I think so. Yeah. Actually, I quite like that stumpy tree without too much fun. Yeah, I, I think that's all right. I think that... Just uh, a bit more. Well, about there. And again, we, we, you know, you, you can decide, obviously, <clears throat> which goes in front and which goes behind. Well, I've probably got to go... Ah, oh, it's very difficult now, isn't it? Can't go too high, can no. it? Because that won't work. Uh, we, we, we can always have another way around, of course, if you prefer. What if we're facing that way? Well, he's better that way, I think, isn't he? I don't know. Uh, it needs to be a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Fraction. I think keep him separate and at the back and, and, and a bit smaller, actually. Mm -hmm. And again, colour, you know, one can play with, obviously. And yeah, it'd be nice to have a little bit of... Uh, kind of orange or, mm -hmm. or, or leather or, or something like that in the moment. Oh, well, we, we can try. A little, a um, little bit. Just to unite these... these other colors. It doesn't need much. That's nice, uh, That's wrong. That's actually very good. Yeah. Sure. That, that, that's fine. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. It's fine. Now, we've got the problem of putting a thing in between the Kelly and the horse, and between the Burke and the horse. Right. At least one object, or 
must be two objects, and two might be too difficult. Uh, oh, is, is that Kelly? This thing is here. That's the, the real Kelly. Yeah, the real Kelly. Uh, that's a hard thing, that perspective. It's, so this is rather important, really. strong vertical, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's what we need, you know. A bit more, we have to clear him of the other profile, I think. It is, it's going to work. Turn a bit more, and a bit more, and a bit more. A little bit more. And that's about it. Well, you perhaps need something fairly uh, strong on him to bring him up to the horse a bit. Well, Some bluey, steely yes, grey. Yes, well, I've, I've saved him there now, so, so you can experiment. Yeah. Um, so if, if you wanted some sort of blue like that. Or that's going all right, yeah. A little bit of blue in there. Maybe that's... That's it, yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, in fact, that's fine. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yes? Yeah. So we really only need a unifying thing between there, you know, bet between okay. the Kelly painting and the other. But we need something fairly... Uh, fairly powerful and, and fairly unusual. Perhaps just a big skull. Got it. So just just this bit. Yeah. And then just feedback. And depending how that like that. Yep. Fractions of right maybe. Fractions of right. Maybe a fraction down to the right again. Dunno, no, you're probably right. It's a bit up to the left, yeah. That's about it. Well? Yeah. yeah.